Okay. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Malone said there were far too many breakdowns. Um, where were those defensive breakdowns, and what do you think uh, was wrong with the three-point defense? Oh, man. Well, I mean, Coach Mo was right. Way too many defensive breakdowns. Uh, you know, we just weren't running guys off the line. You know, we have in the game plan that uh, guys are chases and runoffs, and it was just too easy for them. It was too comfortable for them. You know, we had to make that extra – extra step, make that extra effort to just get them off the line, uh, make it a little bit more uncomfortable for them, have them put the ball down, and then, you know, just keep flying around, just keep making the extra play. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. I, obviously, Portland's a very good offensive team. Um, can can you win a shootout with this team? or And so how much emphasis has to be on your defensive work as a t unit getting better? I mean, it was like, like Coach Mo said, it's too many defensive breakdowns. You know, um, the old adage defense wins championship. We're playing defense like that, we're not going to win nothing. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Aaron, just to follow up on that a little bit, when those breakdowns happen and when they start to snowball and Portland is kind of feeding off of them, either they hit a bunch of threes in a row or you can feel the momentum shifting, what needs to happen with the Nuggets? What needs to happen with your team to, to make that stop? I mean, we just got to hold our composure. Uh, hold, our, hold our composure, uh, get everybody on the same page, uh, and then just get three stops in a row, you know, start chipping away. Uh, we had them down, and, um, you know, we got to just expand on that lead. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Aaron. I, I know that I think they had 19 threes and you guys had 11 tonight. Uh, how much of this game do you think it come down to them just hitting the threes and you guys not at this point? I mean, they, they were getting easy threes. So uh, if we take away some of the easy threes that they had, you know, we got to get that number down. And this is a whole different ball game. Esteban Abed. Hi, Aaron from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, Portland used a lot of times uh, the pick and roll to give the chance Dame Lillard to shoot three points. Do you think the team needs uh, uh, better uh, the, the defense on this play for the next match? Uh, I thought the pick and roll defense was decent. Um, uh, you know, a couple of low mans were late. Uh, and then a couple of dribble rounds by, by Dane, you know, forcing them to the basket. But that's what we want. You know, we want them inside the three-point line. Uh, so I thought it was decent. Sean Keeler, Denver Post. Hey, Aaron, a lot's been made about the perimeter, obviously, in this game. But they went to the line 19 times to, like, eight for you guys. Did Coach talk about that at all? Is that an adjustment you've got to make to try to, to, try to balance that out on, on, at the stripe? Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on with the foul calls. Uh, I thought I was fouled a couple of times. I thought Nerd was fouled. I mean, uh, Yoke was fouled a couple of times. And uh, I don't know. Uh, not sure. So uh, that's on the refereeing crew. We got to control what we can control. Um, with being aggressive, I thought we were. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. And we spent a lot of time talking about the defense, but did you guys like the shot, shots you got offensively? Like, how would you evaluate your offense tonight in terms of where you guys want it to be? Yeah, I mean, our offense is good. Um, you know, there's some things that we can clean up, but really it was just on the defensive end and the defensive breakdowns were lost us this game. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Aaron, to follow up on the offense, you had a really hot start, obviously being aggressive, getting down low. Do you feel like posting you up or getting you inside is an area that you can exploit, uh, just given your size advantage uh, over the Blazers? Yeah, of course. Um, they're going to foul me, so it's got to make my throws. Jacopo Francesco. Hi, Aaron. And what's the biggest point of emphasis uh, going into game two for you and for the team? Uh, three-point line. Uh, defending the three-point line, excuse me. 
Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Aaron, was that at the start of the game, was that as loud as you've heard the crowd here in Denver? And, and what kind of boost did that give you guys to start that game? Oh, that was great, man. I really uh, love seeing them uh, support Jamal. You know, showing love to Jamal before the game. Got real loud in there. Um, the crowd is, is awesome, so we're going to give them something to cheer for. All right, Aaron, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Leonardo Torres. Aaron, Joseph Nurkic just said they want Nikola to score and not get assist. How can the, how can the team get more involved on offense to help Nikola? I mean, we, we got to just, uh, you know, find open spots for him. You know, we got to uh, uh, cut, knock down open shots when he does pass the ball. Um, and, uh, you know, just be aggressive. And so, I mean, that, we have a lot of people that can uh, score the ball. Uh, we just need everyone to be a threat out there. That'll do it. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks.